Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to see a small office network configuration. And this is my scenario. As you can see in my topology, there is only one MLS device which is responsible for LAN and WAN connectivity. If I will talk about the LAN connectivity, so LAN connectivity means all the LAN users should be able to communicate with each other. At the same time, we have requirement of uh, segmentation as well. You can see I have uh, segmented two different departments. For an example, I have two types of traffic in the LAN and we need to segment those two department. Maybe you need to configure some policy between these two departments. So that's why I'm using different um, IPv4 subnet for the different departments. Here my subnet is 192.160.1.0 slash 24 and 192.160.2.0 slash 24 here in department two, right? And my MLS device is responsible for uh, reachability within the department as well as between the department, inter-department and intra-department communication. At the same time, my MLS is responsible for WAN technology, like to access internet, you have to configure NAT here, right? So again, there is question guys, can my MLS support WAN technologies? Can I configure NAT and maybe in future we need to configure VPN here? Because this is the network design of a small office or a small site, a small branch and maybe through internet the another site is connected. So that time you have to configure VPN as well here on the edge device. And here I am using same MLS device as a LAN device as well as as a WAN device, as a edge device and internal device, right? I don't have any other device. For an example, the company has uh, low budget right and uh, they, they have requirement of internet access and uh, segmentation of land traffic right and uh, inter vlan routing like these types of requirements so it, in this scenario can my mls switch support everything answer is guys yes some mls switches not all multi-layer switch some mls switch allow you to configure basic nat and basic VPN as well, right? So you can configure the basic NAT here. Definitely it will not support the advanced NAT like a router because router is designed to perform WAN technologies, right? The advanced routing, right? NATing, VPN, but the MLS is a LAN device. It is not the WAN device, but I can use it as a WAN device as well. I can use it as a edge router as well, okay? So to separate the traffic, what I will do, I will create the VLAN here right so if you are creating vlan then this this device is acting as a switch layer 2 switch it will act as a layer 2 device right and at the same time we will configure routing one default or towards internet and um, um, nat right so that is routing that is the function of layer 3 device like uh, nat natting or um, routing between two different vlan is the um, responsibility of layer 3 device that means here my single MLS device is going to act as a layer 2 as well as as a layer 3. Okay, I will create uh, two VLAN here on this, this MLS, one for this department, one for this department. I will assign these two interfaces in let's say VLAN 10 and these two interfaces in VLAN 20. After that, I will create two SVI here, sub interface for inter VLAN routing, right? Uh, SVI for VLAN 10 will be the gateway for these user and SVI for VLAN 20 will be the gateway for these user. Then I will configure one default port towards ISP. I will make this port as layer 3 port and then finally we'll see the NAT configuration, right? On the SVI interface, you have to configure IP NAT inside. On this interface, IP NAT outside. So whatever configurations are there, we'll see it today in this video. So at the end, what I am expecting that these all users should be able to communicate with each other. I should be also allowed to apply some policy on this multi-layer switch, right, for these two department and the NATing. This device should be responsible for NATing as well. It should perform translation. Okay. So guys, hope it is clear. Topology is clear. Scenario is clear. And uh, now let's begin with the configuration. First of all, I am going to configure IP address on the ISP router and then we'll configure this MLS. Let me access the ISP router here. 
and let me assign the IP on the ISP router we will only configure the IP address config T I can say host name ISP and interface loopback 1 let's say IP address 8.8.8.8.255.255.0 exit and interface F0 slash 0 no shut and IP address here IP address will be 1.1.2 255 255 255.0 done do so IP interface brief exclude unassign you can see ISP router configuration is done guys now I am going to close the IS console of ISP router because we don't need to configure anything here and let me access my MLS multi layer switch let me create two VLAN see your MLS will act as a layer 2 switch by default by default routing is disabled right layer 3 capability is disabled whatever resources are available on this MLS all the resources are assigned to switching means for layer 2 functions maybe by default some resources some memory is assigned to layer 3 but if you want you can change that right with the help of SDM switch database manager through SDM you can manage the memory of your MLS multi layer switch maybe you need more memory for switching less memory for routing or sometime more memory for routing and less memory for switching so it it's depends on scenario like where I am using the MLS okay so here you can see I have access of my MLS switch let me change the host name to MLS and I am going to first configure WAN interface before configuring the interface let me create the VLAN here VLAN 10 and let's name it sales VLAN for an example sales exit and VLAN 20 name it to let's say HR and exit and now you can verify the VLAN do so VLAN brief so here is your VLAN, two VLANs are created but guys um, state is you can see state is active that is fine active means your VLAN is um, uh, working fine here on the switch VLAN is present in the VLAN database and it is working fine but there is no any interfaces in VLAN 10 and 20 so let me put these two interface in VLAN 10 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 so say interface range E 0 slash uh, 1 to 2 and switch port mode access first to disable all layer 2 protocol and then switch port access VLAN 10 very good then interface range E uh, 0 slash 3 and 1 slash 0 E 0 slash 3 and E 1 slash 0 again switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 20 very good now if you will verify the VLAN VLAN database VLAN database so now you can see here in VLAN 10 in sales VLAN guys I have some interfaces two interfaces are there right in VLAN 20 also two interfaces are there right this is a, a small network right you like if you are the college student and you need uh, networking project you can include this uh, lab okay for your college project as well okay done we are done with the VLAN configuration now let's create SVI for both the VLAN interface VLAN 10 and let me say no shutdown and IP address IP address is 192.168.1. for an example 100 I am using 100 for um, uh, SVI gateway okay and for VLAN 20 also interface VLAN 20 say no shutdown and IP address by the way SVI is virtual interface we don't need shutdown no shutdown command right in the re on the real devices but guys in GNS3 or in the uh, even G you need you have to run no such command as well IP address 192.168.2.100 2.100 255.255.255.0 okay very good exit now let me enable the routing as well here so say IP routing after any IP routing command we can verify the routing table do so IP route and you can see both the networks are connected in the routing table right both the networks are available both the LAN networks are available in the routing table 
डन सो वी आर डन विद द एस बी आई कॉन्फिगेशन वी आर डन विद द वी एन कॉन्फिगेशन नाउ लेट मी कॉन्फिगर दिस इंटरफेस द इंटरफेस विच इज कनेक्टेड टू आई एस पी डॉट आर इंटरफेस ई जीरो स्लैश जीरो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज लियर टू पोर्ट बाई डिफॉल्ट मीन स्विच पोर्ट आई हैव टू से नो स्विच पोर्ट राइट नो स्विच पोर्ट नाउ दिस इज लियर थ्री पोर्ट एंड वी कैन कॉन्फिगर द आई पी हियर वन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन ऑन द आई एस पी डॉटर गाइज वट आई पी एड एस आई हैव कॉन्फिगर ऑन वैन लिंक लेट मी वेरीफाई इट वंस वन डॉट टू वेरी गुड सो आई विल कॉन्फिगर वन डॉट वन ऑन माई एम एल एस डिवाइस वन डॉट वन टू फाइव फाइव टू फाइव फाइव टू फाइव फाइव डॉट जीरो एंड लेट मी एड वन डिफॉल्ट रॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो एंड एग्जिट इंटरफेस इज जीरो स्लैश जीरो नेक्स्ट ऑफ आई पी एड एस वन डॉट वन डॉट टू वेरी गुड नाउ लेट मी वेरीफाई द रॉडिंग टेबल डू सो आई पी रॉट स्टैटिक एंड यू कैन सी द डिफॉल्ट रॉट इज एडेड इन द रॉडिंग टेबल ऑफ माई एम एल एस स्विच नाउ आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग एट डॉट एट डॉट एट इज रिचेबल फ्रॉम एम एल एस वी कैन वेरीफाई इट पिंग एट डॉट एट डॉट एट डॉट एट एंड यू कैन सी पिंग इज वर्किंग सक्सेस रेट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट बिकॉज हियर आई हैव वन डिफॉल्ट ऑट टूवर्ड्स इंटरनेट आई एस पी डॉटर एंड एट डॉट एट डॉट एट इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू इंटरनेट राइट सो सोर्स इज वन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन यू आर एबल टू पिंग एट डॉट एट डॉट एट फ्रॉम सोर्स वन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन बिकॉज वन डॉट वन डॉट वन इज कनेक्टेड ऑन आई एस पी एज वेल यू कैन नोट पिंग एट डॉट एट डॉट एट फ्रॉम द लैंड सोर्स राइट लाइक फ्रॉम वन नाइनटी टू वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट वन हंड्रेड इट If I will define the source 192.168.1.100, this ping will not work. Reason, guys, source is this time what 192.168.1.100, and uh, route is not available on the ISP router, so ISP cannot generate reply. Even you can verify this, you can debug, you can enable debugging on ISP router. Debug IP packet, or we can say debug IP ICMP, and then go to MLS and generate the traffic again. and mm, you can see you can see it is receiving icmp packet even it is generating the reply source ip address 8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 destination ip 192.168.1.100 but isp don't have route right and isp will never install the private subnet in their routing table right isp will not have the route of your private subnet okay so here we have to configure nat for um, 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 internet access okay Before configuring the NAT, let me configure the PCs. This PC one, let's say, and uh, on the PC one, say IP 192.168.1.1/24 and get by 192.168.1.100. Go to PC two. On all the PC, we need to configure IP and get by. IP 192.168. uh 1.2/24 and 192.168.1.100 go to pc3 and let me configure ip 192.168.2.1/24 and 192.168.2.100 very good and pc4 finally ip 192.168.2.2/24 and uh, 192.168.2.100 done now guys what i am expecting that these all users are able to access are able to ping their gateway first okay let me take you to any pc let's say pc1 and let me ping their gateway ping 192.168.1.100 and you can see there is reachability i am getting the reply message pc2 PC two should be also able to ping their gateway. Let me check PC two because we can configure some policy as well between these two department. Uh, PC two one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot one hundred. So done. You can see it is able to ping uh, PC three ping one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two dot one hundred. You can see reachability is there. And finally from the PC four. Ping 192.168.2.100. Yes, there is reachability. All the PCs are able to ping their gateway. No problem at all. Let's configure, guys. NAT now on my MLS switch. This switch should support basic NATing. 
for NAT, first of all, interface is 0 slash 0. I am going to define this interface as outside and the two SVI interface, VLAN, one for VLAN 10, one for VLAN 20. Should be my inside interface, right? Means whenever MLS will receive traffic on the SVI interface, maybe for on VLAN 10 interface or VLAN 20 interface, it will perform translation. Okay. So say IP NAT outside here, exit and interface VLAN 10 IP NAT inside, exit then interface uh, VLAN 20 and this interface should be also inside IP NAT inside very good and now uh, from the pc i can try to access internet let me take you to pc1 and you can now ping 8.8.8.8 and you can see ping is not working okay sorry nat is i am not configured the nat guys let me configure nat as well for the nat first of all i have to match the source to match the source i am creating acl access list number 10 let's say and uh, permit permit um, let's say any right source any translated then ip nat inside source list li match source from the access is number 10 and translate it into the ip address which is running on interface ethernet 0 slash 0 overload okay what i am saying here you can see ip nat inside source match source from list number 10 and translate it into the ip address which is running on interface ethernet 0 slash 0 and to enable pat i said overload done and let me hit enter translation debug ip nat from the mls let me try to ping ping 8.8.8.8 and source i am saying vlan 10 interface from here you can see ping is working from the MLS switch, I am able to ping 8.8.8 from the LAN device. MLS switch is able to ping 8.8.8 from LAN interface. Can it is performing the translation? Even here you can check the translation. So I pin at translation. Translation is working fine. Maybe let's say you have requirement of uh, limited internet access, like this department or this this department should have limited access of internet. Should be only allowed to access let's say http traffic so i can configure the policy now or any policy between these two department right like 10 dot pc1 and pc3 should not be able to communicate should not uh, have the full access should have the limited access right so you can apply those all policies here on the mls like on mls i can say config t ip or access list number 101 um, uh, permit and uh, source so um, permit and then permit ip or let's say i only want to allow http traffic between pc1 to pc3 so permit only tcp traffic with source uh, with source 192.168.1.1 one wildcard mask destination 192.168.2.1 wildcard mask and equal to means port number let's say 80 and 443 80 and 443 right and now if i will apply this policy on the svi interface then this pc and this pc can only exchange the http or https traffic right so this way you can configure any policy you can also use the route map for the advanced policies right so that is the benefit of segmenting the department in the LAN. and hope guys this video was helpful for you and uh, if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have any question query concern please let me know in the comment section we'll meet soon in the next video till then stay safe bye bye guys that's all for today thanks thanks for watching